You want to tweet on CapCut but don't know how? Don't worry, I've got your back. I'll be walking you through the steps on how to make a body sheet, how to tween, basically how to set everything up. I'm bad at explaining. The editing app I use is CapCut. I do not use a light motion. It's too hard for me. Anyways, I'll start the tutorial. So the first thing you need is obviously your gotcha character. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to change the background of the home page for your character if your character has green assets on and nothing blue then i recommend a blue screen for your character but if your character doesn't have any green assets or anything then you can use a green screen or a green background After you're done with that, you're going to go to where it says body and there's going to be a hashtag in the corner. You're going to click that. Once you've clicked that, you're going to press body sheet one and it will get it will separate all the parts you'll need. And then you just take screenshots of every single one of them. It's painful, but you have to. But there's also a body sheet too, which I forgot to click because um, is basically other accessories like tails and um, neck accessories, back accessories, you know. And I forgot to put that for my character, so if you have any more accessories, click the body sheet too as well. I forgot to. Alrighty, time to go into CapCut with this one. So, create a new project in CapCut, and for me, I'm way too lazy to just put a green screen. I recommend having it like a rectangle shape, just big enough to fit your character in. But yeah, basically the size on my screen. And then you kind of just start putting all the parts together of your character. Now, I'm not really good at this, um, but you can put it the way that I put it first. What I recommend, since my character does not have a tail or anything like that, you should first put the back hair. That's my recommendation. And then the tail. And then the legs. And then the arms. And then etc. I'm not good at explaining, sorry. And you kind of keep doing that. And the head will be the very last overlay. When importing your photos, you click the cutout button to remove the green screen, which you click the chroma key. And after you click the chroma key, most of the time you want to raise the intensity all the way to 100. But depending on if you want it on 100, because sometimes it will get rid of the color in your outfit or, sometime, or something. Sometimes it will get rid of the color in your outfit or in your accessories or in your hair. So it's kind of you can adjust it to wherever you like. And almost always you can raise the shadow to 100 depending if you don't want to get rid of those rigid outlines. I don't know how else to explain it. One thing I highly recommend after creating your body sheet, I still am confused if it's called that, you should take a normal screenshot of your character and put it on top of the body sheet just to get the proportions right because sometimes I mess up the proportions and I can't always tell if it looks good or not. Sometimes I'll make the arms too big or the head too small. You know, proportions, I can't always get them right. So that's why I put in the body sheet first and then I put on the character on top. I recommend lowering the opacity to 50% for your character photo. And then you kind of just fix up the proportions. It looks complicated, but uh, yeah, I don't really have any tips on how to do this. Good luck.
Now in this video, I will not be teaching you how to tween the eyes or how to animate the mouth because this is a tutorial on how to how I'm simplifying tweening as much as possible. Basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna animate with screenshots instead, which is a lot more easier in my opinion. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch back from changing each screenshot or each face expression and going back to the body sheet one and taking screenshots. Now, because I have zero trends in my mind, I'm gonna be recreating the It's You meme that I already did, but with Yuki this time. Yay! Oh my gosh. Now what you're gonna do is create another project into CapCut. This time you're gonna put all the screenshots together. You're basically gonna crop all the screenshots and make it match the audio. If you do not have an audio, you can adjust the screenshots length of a video to however you like. And then once you're done, you can export it. Now what you're gonna do is, I did this off um, recording, I cropped it in my photos, just crop it so you can see the head only, and don't crop it in CapCut unless you want it to be blurry, which um, you can't really get rid of that, so you have to crop it in your photos. Anyways, you import your uh, recording of only the head and then you put it as, as an overlay. Delete your old head and then replace it with the new one that you made in the other project. You kind of just tween from there. I don't really know exactly how to explain how I tween. Now, you're just tweening and um, all of a sudden this happens in the middle of it. I'll help you on how to get rid of that and I'll explain it as easily as I possibly can. The first example is to put one keyframe in between your two other keyframes you already placed. This helps to adjust the arm if you're creating a fast movement. Now the second example is to literally add as many keyframes as you can possibly make. Now you won't be able to change the graph on these, but it will certainly make your movement look a lot more smoother, at least in my opinion. So you guys are probably wondering, wait, so you can create an eight minute video in within like a week, but you make a five minute video within like a month. Yes, because for some reason yesterday I felt super motivated to make a video and I worked on, I worked on it for one hour and I somehow got literally over half of the video done and I kind of just sped through this thing. I don't know how I did it. So yeah, but yeah, this was requested by somebody, um, I'll put their comment on the screen. Anyways, I finished my first scene on the mini movie and I'm gonna spin, a spin the wheel to show you which title I'm gonna pick because I still have to make the thumbnail and everything. Now you have to know what I go through for making this mini movie. And let me tell you, that one scene took me four hours to make. Tweening doesn't usually take that long for me. It usually takes one, sometimes even two hours to finish an entire animation. So yeah, this mini movie, I hope, will not take too long and will not take one month to make. Yeah, I hope you all have a great day or night. Goodbye.